What is up guys, Awesome Nurture here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing with our gameplay here on Isla Nublar in the sandbox mode, building our version of Jurassic World. So we're continuing here, picking up where we left off in the last episode. Let's get out of this thing real quick. There we go. And so here is, of course, our park that we I started building in the last episode. Um, so not much has changed, I don't believe. Um, I did, of course, add a few things. I'm pretty sure I added the power stick. Again, I can't remember what all I added and didn't. I had this emergency shelter there and there. Just, you know, I don't obviously need them for this part because I won't have storms. But they're just there for decorations. And I went through and put down this fence all the way around. So it's completely covering the hotels um obviously you can't put fences within certain ranges of hotels but it's there and then oh yeah i started to do here but it wasn't working um and then i went ahead and did it on this side too so this is just our back row then i did it up here so just trying to close off the park so if dinosaurs did escape you know they'd have a harder time getting into our guest and everything um so today we're going to continue on with building out and going to try to get some dinosaurs going so i think i want to go out this way i'll probably delete some of this but i just want a straight line across there that should be plenty because i want it to be about center of the map and it's obviously not that center but if i start building down this way off of this road um it should be pretty much centered and then i think we'll do it because island with wise yeah right in the center here would be pretty good so let's go ahead and we will start i'm gonna build two separate little things off of this let's go with i forgot what it is yeah ham and creation lab let's go ahead and add this which we'll need to flip it around here and i don't know exactly where i want this It's like so close. I just want it to be just barely touching the thing to get it rotated. Gosh dang it. I hate when this happens. I hate spending time doing this, but I want it to be as like straight on as possible. But I want to leave a little space. Actually. Let's go ahead and move it over even more because I actually do want to do something off of this. Let's move it over just a little bit more. Okay, we'll place it there. Okay, so then we will go ahead and then take some of our viewing things and we'll stick them off of... Actually, let's go ahead and add fence. We'll just do... Um, the heavy steel fence for now we'll just take it off and bring it just right over here to the road that way not just extend that it obviously won't go out that far and then now let's go and put in a viewing gallery I don't know where I want to place this. That's the whole thing. I got to figure out what I want to do. Um, let's go ahead and grab a road. Let's go ahead and just stick it right here. Actually, let's see if I can somehow find the like center. Okay, I think about right in here will be good enough. About right where this piece of railing is, like the center joint part. Again, we're just going to extend this out. It's not going to be this wide or anything. I've made that actually a lot, lot wider than I would kind of want, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, now let's go ahead and put in our viewing galleries it'd be cool if they would snap but they don't if I can get the 
thing to move here, so I'll just place them on each side here. Hopefully centered. There we go. Now let's go ahead and take the railing, or fence I should say. Connect it there. Delete out this little bit. And continue on this way. This is one thing I hate, like the fence, how it's like, it's not lining up with the road. It's like, I don't understand how it doesn't line up with the road. But anyway, let's just pull it straight off of here. Quite a ways. Okay, so it looks like it's one full and then a two. So let's go ahead and delete this one. That one should be a full. Maybe down there like that. Delete off that little bit, hopefully. Hoping I can maybe get this fixed and straightened up, hopefully. Um, now let's go ahead and add in our second viewing gallery, which this one should snap on, hopefully. Let's get it centered as best as we can. Should be pretty good there. Now let's take our path. And if somehow, I don't understand this whole game, this should all be, of course, because that's a little crooked, I guess. I don't know. Let's maybe play with something real quick here. Since we have our general layout done. Whoops. Let's see if we can make this a little better. There we go. It may not be perfect, but it at least looks a little better, I think. So there we go. So this will be an area for uh, dinos, and then we'll go ahead and do the exact same on the other side. So let's go ahead and grab our fencing. Uh, it's not going to work. Um, Go ahead and take our path, pull it straight down over here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I get this to work. Um, so let's go ahead and do, let's try adding one of these on. It's not going to work. Dang it. Actually, let's try. Shoot. Can we delete little bits off? There we go. Let's get our... Dang it. I was just on it too. Gee, and that doesn't even look straight to me. But I guess we'll just have to stick with it. Okay. So then let's... Let's 
delete that part out. We're going to figure this out one way or another. Let's go ahead and put the road back in. Put our walls back. And there we go. So that should hopefully be correct on this side. Hopefully, as I said. So let's go ahead and try to continue that way there. Okay, how many is it supposed to be? So I want two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So five little bars over. Let's see if we can get this line up. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Guess we'll just place it there, maybe? Make sure one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then that one. One, two, three, four, five. And that one. Hopefully, this is all correct. And then we can maybe try deleting that out. Of course, we may need to wait for this thing to finish building so we know exactly where we are. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one more. Again, I don't know if that's correct, but we're going to go with it. Now let's delete some of this stuff out. Again, I don't think that looks very straight, but we're gonna, I guess, go ahead and stick with it. Delete this little nubby off. Hopefully another viewing platform will fit in here perfectly again. I don't know how straight this is. Let's look at it. They look pretty nice and even. That's the thing. It just doesn't feel like they're proper. So let's add another platform. See if we can get the numbers right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It looks somewhat centered there. I don't know exactly why I made this so big. This is just gonna be kind of like the breeding area. Oh shoot, let's see if we can even get the path to continue through here. I have a feeling. Oh, and it will, awesome. Um, this is just gonna be like the breeding area, but I guess like, yeah, it's just gonna be like the breeding area. I probably should not have made it nearly this big, but I did anyway, so we're just gonna have to live with it. Um, let's go with here now we'll attach our Hammond Creation Lab on. Just try and get it centered as best as we can. There looks good. Now let's take the road off. Nope, too close.
There we go. Looks good enough. And so that's going to be where we do all of our dino things. So we'll go ahead and do just all success rate. I'm trying to think if I really like this because that is a lot larger than I was expecting. Like I said, I feel like I've wasted a lot of space. So you know what, let's go ahead and do this because I don't want to... Yeah, we'll start on this side because I want it as close to the center as possible. So, like, this center line will be our center. So let's go ahead and just do it. Two off. Okay, and we'll let that be replaced. Place another one on this side so kind of stinks that I, like you know wasted all that time I think that's what I did I'll have to check to make sure once it's done I think I just left one bar in the middle hopefully they look about the same and then I'll move this up Go ahead and grab the fence. Yes, it was too. Delete that fence. Continue it that way. Delete all of this now. Waste of money, but that's what we have to do. Go back in now, we'll place, replace, do the same on this side. So this will be our area now, which is where we will really be releasing the dinos at. Once they're born and all that sort of stuff then we'll move them to their homes that's why I didn't want to waste all that room because it's just gonna be you know like temporary space you should so it's like there's no point of wasting all that space Come on, get built. I want to be able to see what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. Okay, something's not right. One, two, one, two. Should be over there. What's wrong with this? Did I place this one wrong? I don't know what I did. Oh yeah, it looks like I did. Let's go ahead and we'll just pull this fence down. <laughs> Come on. Now let's try a play scene. 
gonna eventually get through all this, wasting so much time on this video, doing the wrong things. I don't understand it. Why is it not? Does this thing look weird? No, it doesn't. I mean, it does look better. I think I've messed up on this side. Somewhere. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, that was off, that's why. I didn't think this whole episode thing would be this. I thought this was going to be pretty simple and easy. I'd be able to get a lot of stuff done, but apparently not. Okay. Let's see, can we snap a thing onto this? No, apparently not. There we go, that's gonna be good enough now. Now we can delete all of this. Now let's hope that a creation lab will fit in here. I guess I didn't think about that. Okay, there we go. that look even uh, just about pretty good now let's add one on this side again not perfect but it's pretty good for what we want okay delete all these roads for now because I don't know what I'm going to do there so I don't want to have these roads for no reason. Path not connected. There we go. So we've got our dino area set up. So let's go ahead and get stuff placed down here so we can actually power this up and get some dinos going go ahead and place them like right up here and then we'll do another one very similar on this side Okay, now let's figure out how we should get the power in over here. Okay, so we can come off of this. Okay. 
there we go. That one's powered up. And then we can come off of this one. Now let's go ahead and make sure it's just past the road there. There we go, we're all connected and all powered up now. I think that should be good to go now. So let's go ahead and get some diamonds. So I'm trying to think how I want to set this up. We'll go ahead and do herbivores, mostly on this side. So we'll go ahead and just do um, some herbivores. So we're going to just do, again, all the success rates. And then we'll just go ahead and start out. What should we start out with? Um, probably just start out with the small dinos. We'll go ahead and do some Gallimimuses, which I think they should be all pretty much yeah, kept out. We'll go ahead and just do Jungle Pattern. For each of those and we'll just incubate a couple of those so we'll start out with the small dinos and then for the carnivores come on there we go do the success rate and then we'll go ahead and do probably some dillos should i didn't check think the check and look on those to make sure that they're all good, switch that one to a wetland. If we can get more lifespan out of these things. Because I think I had to change it for something. So that first one's not going to last nearly as long as all of the others will be because of increasing it okay so we're good to go there you'll do the wetland do some different ones there doing that and so that is gonna be it I think of course I was hoping to do a lot more <laughs> but that didn't go so well so over here I will be creating I guess I can go ahead and place them down let's go ahead and actually take the path Just pull it one off of that way. One off of that way as far as it can go. And we'll go ahead and place down. Uh, no. We need, yeah. Let's go ahead and also place one in the center. This one will not be here. But just to help get me lined up and everything. It's going to take this. can't tell if that's how lined up that is. So we're just going to go with that. Line this side up too. Now I can get rid of this. And this is just going to be a little enclosure. I 
for like the gallimimuses and stuff that I'm creating right now. And then we'll just build a small little pin here just to view the dinosaurs. But this is going to be like where the Gallimimus, Struthiomimus is. Just all the little, small little dinos like that will be released and everything. Let's go ahead and release them because I think they're pretty much done. Then we'll also do it. The Dilophosaurus. Oh yeah, and I forgot the kind of important thing, at least in my opinion. We've got to do our ranger stations. There we go, and hopefully, ooh, I doubt if it will. If a ACU center will fit in anywhere over here. Which, yeah, it does not look. That's so weird how there's room on this side. I must have placed this one different. How there's room, yeah, on that side, but not on the other side. We'll just put it right across from it here. Just so we're then close to over to this area and stuff, too. And I think, yeah, they're both connected there. So there we got those two added on and let's go ahead and release our other deluxe source and we can go ahead and add some water in here we'll just try and add little water pads for each little section because you know this is where people are going to be watching the new little babies being born and eating and everything switch to meat ones and I don't know which one I clicked there like that and like that so there we go now we've got little food areas and stuff for each dino that's being born so people can watch them out of the viewing areas and stuff and there we go. We've got our first dinos. Like I said, got to finish working on this, which I'll probably work on this now and get this area completed. And then I'll try and think of where, how I want to do the Dillo stuff for the next episode. But I think that's going to be it then. Again, I didn't get nearly as much done as I was hoping to in this episode. But I hope you enjoyed playing here on the sandbox mode on Isla Nublar. Trying to get... Um, a version of Jurassic World built at least you know like my own version or view of Jurassic World so I hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos and to continue on with this series and see how I build up my version of how I think Jurassic World should be um, built and everything but I want to thank you for watching and we will see you in the next episode